Yo, what up guys? I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And because of the ongoing quarantine, I'm sure a lot of you guys are still stuck outside playing ball like I am. If you're in places like Texas, uh, I guess you guys have everything and you guys can just go into an indoor court and still play basketball, which is awesome. I'm very, very jealous of you guys. But for the rest of us, we're stuck playing outside and we want a durable shoe, right? So I already did a top outdoor shoe video but I got a lot of requests to do a like most durable shoe. And I was like, that's like the same thing. But then you guys said, I just want a durable shoe. I don't really care about cushion. So I was like, okay, I, I, let me rethink that. And uh, also a durable material, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, if you're playing outside, uh, if you do toe drags and it's a thin, soft material, you're gonna like blow through that material. There's gonna be a hole in it. So I came up with a list for you guys, and uh, this is my list for most durable shoes that you can get that are actually pretty good performers. Um, besides, I guess, one or two of them, which I'll tell you guys. So if you guys wanna cop any of these shoes, I'll leave a link in the description box, but let's get it started off with the New Balance Kawhi. The Kawhi is a very, very durable shoe. I mean, as you guys know, it's a very stiff, feeling shoe you know and the traction is super durable you know i had no issues with durability it's a very very hard rubber so you're not going to have any issues with the outsole and then moving on to the materials the materials are super stiff and it feels very glued down and there is you know that patent leather like toe guard in the in the toe so so i mean even if you do toe drags it's a very very durable material and that shoe i feel like is going to last like a long, long time. It's a tank of a shoe. All right, next we got the Li Ning AC9. And Li Ning, or I guess like Chinese companies in general make very, very durable shoes because the demographic in China, most Chinese people play outdoors. You know, the, I, I guess they don't have a lot of indoor basketball courts for some reason. Most people play outdoors. So, you know, Li Ning, Anta, companies like that make very, very durable shoes. And the AC9 is a very, very durable shoe. You know, the outsole, is very durable. I wouldn't say it's the most durable outsole that Leaning has to offer, but it's durable enough. The cushion is very nice, but I guess that doesn't really matter. And then the materials, I mean, it is thin, but it's very durable. It feels quality and you have a little bit of fuse uh, around the, the perimeter of the toe as well. So uh, the AC9 is a great option. Next, we got the AC8 and the AC8 V2 by Li Ning and it's the older version of the AC9 you know so the AC8 I would say is even more durable than the AC9 the AC8 has a crazy outsole super duper durable I mean I've been playing in the V2s a lot that's kind of like my main shoe right now because I want like a very very durable shoe I don't want to mess mess up like any of my other shoes right now <laughs> as far as like uh, the shoes that I've, I've already tested you know so very durable outsole very good traction as well and the materials, very durable. You know, the regular AC8 has a, a pretty thick textile material, and then the V2 has like a shroud over it as well. So you're not really gonna have any issues with durability uh, for the upper. All right, next is not a good shoe, but it's super durable. So I guess I'll put it on the list. And that's the one shoe that I suggest that you guys don't get, but you know, I'll put it on the list because it is durable and it is the Adidas Harden Volume 5. So, I mean, the traction is pretty damn durable. It's a hard rubber. Uh, and then, yeah, the materials, as you guys all know, it's super stiff, but I mean, it's stiff, it's glued down and all that, but it's durable. You know, I feel like it's gonna last a long time. It feels like a boot. Um, <laughs> so there's a hard and volume five. And then next is the next level Future Natural. It's basically the same as the Harden Volume 5, but a better performer. And I actually enjoy playing the next levels. So the outsole is durable, I would say. And then the materials are durable as well. You also have a little bit of extra fuse around the perimeter of the toe box for extra added durability if you do toe drags. And the quality of the materials are very, very nice. You know, So it feels like a very well-made shoe. So the next level should last you a good amount of time. All right, last but not least, we got the Adidas Pro Model 2G. You know, you can get the low version, you can get the, uh, the mid version, whatever you want. Just, it's a super cheap shoe as well. But yeah, the materials are super duper durable. I would say this shoe is probably one of the most durable shoes that you, can, you guys can get. You have that rubber toe guard. So you literally have outsole covering the toe box. So you're not gonna have any issues if you do toe drags. And then the traction pattern is also very, very durable. Do you guys notice how there's no Nike shoes on this damn list? You guys know why? Because Nike sucks at making durable shoes, especially for outdoor use, which sucks. 
So Nike, please make some durable shoes. You know, even, even their budget shoes. I mean, budget shoes, Nike usually does pretty well, but it, it's not as good as the, the shoes on this list. And recently, they haven't been very durable. Like for example, the LeBron Witness 5 was terrible. Uh, the Kyrie Fly Trap 4, I guess it was okay, but like it was a really, really crappy shoe. And then the Kyrie 7 was terrible. The 0.4 was terrible. The Jordan 35 was terrible for durability. So, so Nike, just make some better durability for your shoes, please. We're all asking for that. You know, you guys, you guys charge us top dollar. You guys make very good performers, but you, you guys also charge us top dollar for shoes that we need to replace very, very frequently because you, I feel like Nike purposely does this. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how you mess up durability that much. But anyway, so these are uh, the shoes that I feel like uh, will last you guys a long time. I hope this list helps you guys out. And again, if you guys want to cop any of these shoes, I'll leave a link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.